of Jesus Christ, our pastor, uh, in his absence. Uh, now, ain't, ain't nothing bad or wrong or whatever, uh, but this, that, and the other. Uh, that pastor couldn't be with us today because you know if it was, mother wouldn't have left. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But I thank the Lord for the warrior of God. Thing to 
want to hear the word today. And sometimes I know that the word got to correct me. Because I'm a little bit off course. Sometimes it's to the right or to the left. And I know that. Amen. Sometimes you may get your correction in the announcement. It's a different point. See, let me tell you, when we ministry to the church, you got sheep, you got lambs, you got goats. I really tell you about it. Sometimes we got to wrap the goats out the head and got to pick the lamb up. So somewhere in this service, there's something you need. It might not come from the message. Because the message might be on the goats. That day. So you might have to get yours from the open word. Amen. Pastor Washington feeding a flock. He can't preach the same message all the time. Can't spend too much time on the goats. A lot of us want to let's beat the goats out. We can't spend all the time on the goat because the, the lamb going to stop. But I guarantee you, whatever your need is and whatever it is when you come to the service, it's there. Sometimes the word cover the whole body. But sometimes it doesn't. God is so loving, sometimes we will spend the whole service on one verse. Amen. We have to have understanding. And that's what a lot of people, most of us when we talk, and we rattle off, we really just blind it, or either we're talking out of ignorance. Just like uh, wisdom will proceed out of our mouth, foolishness come out of our mouth. Foolishness talks from ignorance. That don't mean that you, if we use the word ignorant, ignorant just means you're not in the knowledge of something. I'm, I'm ignorant when I come around to a jet flying. I bet you if they told you I was the pilot, you wouldn't get on that. You know that you may never see me be ignorant to that fact. Let me operate on your head. But when it comes around to this book, I'm not ignorant. is not ignorant. Amen. The gift teaches me. It's teaching me. Amen. All right, we're going to turn right quick. See, I, I just had plans. I said, well, Lord, we're going to, you can't program, God. I said, well, I just ain't, we, we get out early today. Because I had intended to just say a word. You can't, we can't program ourselves. We can't say we're going to do this. We can't even tell you when we're going to take up the offer. Because God may come be here. And I don't want to be in no place for this program. Amen. I'm going to ask you to turn to First John. First John 14 and verse first, first John 4 and 19. Y'all excuse us by the ad. We didn't turn it off until the people got here. And once the crowd would get in, it's a day they would. There's been some temperatures raised. That's all right. Y'all remember the old people remember when we didn't eat that. So I didn't expect to get tripped up. Go and get your half fixed with them. Do you know who? One service, it was over. First John. And this 
kind of ties in with everything that the Lord gives me. Even the choir song and song stood up and give. Yeah. Stood up and give. Yeah. What in the give what God gonna stir it up in you? Amen. Okay. Uh, if any of his boys get three, first John four and nineteen. We love him because he first loved us.
And so he has given me that love and that ability to love him. Yeah. And sometimes, mother, we don't use it. That's why she's saying, stir up the gift. Stir up the gift. Lord, lay your hands on me. Lord, send a word. Lord, whatever. Correct me. Stir up the gift. But see, when you love God, and we said that earlier, and I'm going to show you in the, in the scripture. First Corinthians, I mean, first, uh, no, Philippians, first chapter, and the 28th verse. <coughs> Evangelist Boys can read this. Read it. Philippians 1 28. And nothing. No, that ain't, that ain't the right one. I'm trying to find for, to Christ. I, I look at it, it might be the second chapter. Sometimes I write it. Yeah, I 21. 21, that's right. Yeah. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Y'all know what that's saying? For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. You know what that is? That's you loving him back with the love that he gave. All right, all right, all right. All right. Dad, let me repeat that. That is you loving him back with the love that he had gave you. Amen. You know what that is? Nothing else matters. It's only you. Amen. You have my first love. Yes. Y'all know what that really saying? Read it again. Man. For me to live is Christ. And to die. Wait, hold on. For me to live is who? Christ. And he to love. He the center of all my life. For me to live is Christ. And if, even if it means dying. What that means, Jesus is first in your life. You loving him because he first loving you with the love that he has given you the ability to love you. And guess what? Ain't nothing gonna get in your way. But you ain't gonna let nothing get in your way. You're gonna, you might not understand this scripture, but I bet you you'll understand when you read the next one. Read Revelation 2 and 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Christ and Jesus ain't no more in your heart to live and to die for. If you have lost your friend, if Jesus is not the center of your life and his will and his word and he's not first in your life and in one time he was, you have lost your first love. I can show you in the natural. If Sister Vanessa don't love me anymore, she don't show it that I'm not the sinner of affection. She may cook for me, she may clean. But somewhere down the line, I'm going to go like it in a park. Read up above that evangelist boss is what he said about this church. I know thy works and thy patience, and how thou cannot bear them which are equal, and hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and have power to be liars, and has borne and has patience 
and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, hold on now. They were doing some of the things. That's right. They were doing the. That's right. That's right. Sister Vanessa could be cooking, cleaning, everything, and keeping me. That's the same way he loved us. Anybody that didn't say he was filled with the love of God. And you know how he was when you first got saved. You love, if you done got to where you could hate somebody, you don't love God. You lost your first love. If you get to where you can't obey the word of God, you done lost your first love. Because he said he that loved me gonna do what? So that means now I told you he was gonna come back to Philippians to live as Christ, to die as God. That means I'm completely sold out. Jesus is the center. He is the center. He outranks everything. Yes, yes. Teacher David, if Jesus don't outrank Sister Joy for your love, you don't lost it. <laughs> if you yourself, that's when he say, if any man ain't gonna come out of me, he got to deny himself. Because Jesus knows that self is not no good. Yes, so if you still love yourself, if you love yourself, you do not have the love of God that he gave you. Now, here's some people that he knew one time had it. One time, wasn't nothing going out of range. Amen. Wasn't nothing going to come above Jesus. Wasn't nothing going to get in his way. Where did that love come from? He gave it to us. We love him because he first loved us. Amen. So he gave me the ability to love him. So if I stop loving him, no. and the love that he put in my life is gone. No. I took on the love of the what? world. And it is sensual, it's sneaky, it's downable, and it's devilish. Y'all know how the world loves to do it. The world loves to just fleshly love. Fleshly love will tell you what you want to hear to get out of you what it want to get. When he comes speaking and being nice, he wants something. Run him knowing too. That's all right. That's all right. Come on. That is the word. That's worldly love. But the love of God it loves regardless. It loves regardless. Yes. Yes. Look in, in Corinthians, first Corinthians. I believe it's 13 talking about that love. That's not ours. It ain't puffed up. God's love ain't puffed up. If you full of the love of God, look, we can rebuke you all we want. You're going to bow down and say, thank you, Lord. It ain't puffed up. Don't behave itself unseen. Keep your mind. Thanks, no evil. Look, the love of God can know something wrong, but expect the best. See it wrong, but it still expects the best. Y'all know what that y'all done heard that read many times. That was given to everybody that has been saved. If things could get in our way, if things could get in our way, and we could draw back from God, we have lost our first love. Now, let, me, let me hit this quote. This year gonna hit somebody. Some is the problem. You don't. You ain't. You ain't never had the love of God down on the inside. 
And we cannot, we show the word sometimes, but we cannot make a person love God. That's got to be your choice to accept his love. When you come to Jesus, you come in him. Like a lot of people are already trying to get themselves right. Well, I'm trying to get right. I'm going to come to the Lord. The Lord ain't told you to come like this. The Lord said just come. It's his job. The love of God got to do all of that for you. It's got to clean you. It's got to do all of that. It's the one got to change you. Then when that love inside of you, when they say church service, it's the thing. Even though the flesh pulling on the other side, you tired, you this, you that. You, you able to push it aside. The only way you push the flesh aside, you got to go, you got to have the love of God. And that's got to be to the center. If Jesus is, if that scripture that you read in Corinthians, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Jesus is not the center of your life. You wonder why a pastor and mother, now they had the grace of God in them that God did. See, everything we want, we really ain't bringing nothing to it. The grace of God to do whatever God has. Ever God have a man that you can't do. That's right. Because he's going to give you the grace and the ability. God would not ask you to do nothing that you can't do. He know you can't do it. So he gives you the ability to do it. If he got something for you to do, he's going to give you the ability to do it. And he ain't going to expect no more out of you than what he gave he ain't expecting me to be Apostle Washington. But he expected me to be teacher gay. Because he even gave me that ability to be what I need to be. Now here comes the problem. See, we get that mixed up about the talent. We take it. One man didn't have but one. And that's all that he was required. But he took the ability that God gave him to go out and do what he told him and took it in there. You know what? He loved himself. Because it's working. It's working. Amen. He said, nevertheless. And what God was doing in this service today. What he was doing in this service today. Sending a refreshing rain. He was trying to stir up the love. He was trying to stir up the love that he had put in him. See, some of us been warm. Some of us been dealing with, with issues and things that, and concern. And some think, but Jesus Christ is the head of the church. And we can rest in him. And sometimes even the church and battles. Let me tell you what, the spirit of the devil been working. Amen. He been working. Amen. He still here today, but he always shout. God can step in. And see, most of the time we say the spirit of the devil, right away we go to think about a person. But sometimes he's talking about me. Look, you don't see what we see. So don't speak without knowledge. If you don't know, don't say nothing. If you don't know, don't even think nothing. We see, do you believe that God has given us charge over the people of God? That we're going to be blind, stupid, ignorant, and crazy. It ain't never say the sheep saw the wolf. Because the sheep will look at the wolf. Because his concern is only eating grass. And drink. But the watchman's job. Uh, 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 so 
see you just eat grass and let us watch. Just eat grass and let us watch.
I'd be the only teenager on the whole block drunk when, when I stayed with them. Will y'all imagine what I would be today? But who did who? I wasn't looking for God. But he saw me 2,000 years ago. And guess what? He saw me before he laid the foundation of the earth. And he loved me. Desire. 